Hi and welcome to Pebbles channel. So we are talking about animals and their adaptations to their surroundings. So we see that animals are divided into two groups based on the presence or absence of backbone and they are termed as vertebrates and invertebrates. Animals with backbone are termed as vertebrates and in the absence of a backbone they are termed as invertebrates. The invertebrates, the examples of invertebrates are your insects, crabs, snails, octopuses. If you see all these do not have the presence of a backbone. The vertebrates are further classified into fish, amphibians, reptiles, birds and mammals. So we see that the animal kingdom is divided into two groups on the presence or absence of backbone that is vertebrates and invertebrates. Animals move from one place to another for various reasons that is they move in search of food or to find or to build their own shelter or to escape from their enemies. So the ability for them to move from one place to another is called locomotion. So I repeat that the ability to move from one place to another is called locomotion and locomotion is by limbs or other body parts. So the animals use their limbs or other body parts to move from one place to another. Moving on to the first that is moving on to in detail about the movement. First is the movement in fish. The fish, the locomotion in fish is called swimming and they have fins that help them to swim in water. They have the, it is known as the paired and the unpaired fins. So these help them to stabilize and to steer themselves in the water. The tail and the fins help the fish to move forward in water. Moving on to movement in insects. So the insects have three pairs of limbs and two pairs of wings and the limbs help them to jump and to crawl. Moving on to the next is the movement in amphibians. Frogs are animals that can live both on land and water. While on land the forelimbs, the hind limbs help them to jump and crawl on land. While in water the padded feet of the frog helps it to swim in water. The next is the movement in reptiles. So we have the turtles and crocodiles, the snakes that, that crawl along the surface of the ground, that is it uses its stomach to crawl along the ground. The lizards, they are able to crawl on the smooth, smooth surface of the wall. The next is the movement in mammals. Mammals have forelimbs and hind limbs and they use the forelimbs and hind limbs to move from one place to another. So movement in mammals. Many mammals have four pairs of limbs. The front two are called as your forelimbs and two limbs at the back known as your hind limbs and these some use the forelimbs and the hind limbs to move some use only the hind limbs to move. So we see that some animals stand or rest on their hind limbs and hold things with the forelimbs. 
so we see that some animals they stand or they rest on their hind limbs and they hold things with the four limbs horses and sheep walk on all the four limbs so animals like your horses and sheep use all the four limbs to move monkeys and kangaroos use their four limbs to hold things and they stand on their hind limbs human beings use their hind limbs or legs to walk stand run and swim the legs help them to stand straight and have an erect posture the four limbs or arms are used to hold objects herbivores have hooves herbivores are animals that eat only the plants so herbivores have hooves to travel long distance in search of plants most of them are sure footed and can move in rough terrains so we are talking about the movement in mammals so we see that some animals stand or rest on their hind limbs and they hold things with their four limbs animals like your horses and sheep use or walk on all the four limbs your the monkeys and kangaroos use their four limbs to hold things and they stand on their hind limbs human beings use their hind limbs to or legs to walk so they use to walk stand run and swim the legs help them to stand straight and hence they have an erect posture the four limbs or arms are used to hold objects herbivores have hooves to travel long distance in search of plants most of them are sure footed and can move in rough terrains so this is about the movement in mammals and how the limbs help different animals to do different things so they use their hind limbs to move and their four limbs they are used to hold objects